Alright guys, welcome to part 2 of Leave PHP from scratch. In this particular video, we're looking at routing, the basics of routing. So we're looking at get requests, post requests and other forms of requests. So without much, let's get into it. So there's the um, project I generated in the previous folder. You can watch the installation video if you don't yet have this. Right. So I guess I'll just get started. Right. So then the first thing we have to do is, well, obviously we want to generate an index.php. The index.php is usually um, the file which controls all of Leaf. It's sort of any request or anything you need to our project goes to the leaf php uh, sorry to the index.php file and we do this with our dot ht access so our dot ht access file makes sure that all our requests and anything made to our whole application goes directly to index.php um, we can find an example of a dot ht access in the leaf docs so um yeah right here so i just copy this and paste it here and that's all we have to do in our ht access file right so i would like to get my application running right so i'll do this with a php inbuilt server so php hyphen s local host and i'll just say something like 8500 yeah so 8500 make sure this s here is capital else you have problems with this so if we run this we'll just get a blank um, a blank screen so let me just put in something so we know that it's working so echo hello Just say localhost 8500. Sorry, 8500. And I get a hello. All right. So, leave. To use leave, we will have to import our leaf files from our vendor folder well usually we would have to do require for any particular file we want to use so any component will have require then the file name another require for another file but you see the more components we use the worse this gets so composer has a really simple photo loader for us which loads all the files we need without having to use require so that's what we have to bring in first so we say require vendor slash composer sorry vendor dot auto load slash auto load dot php this is already once you install any um, package through through composer composer generates this so you don't have to worry about this right so we would want to use the leaf core leaf package this package is what handles our routing so we say use leaf core leaf and then we initialize this with leaf equals new leaf so yeah now leaf is initialized so we can actually start with the real routing how leaf handles routing is quite similar to um, if you've worked with express or you know, laravel or other frameworks like that we simply say leaf um if you are with javascript this would be leaf dot maybe get but this php 
so we do leave get now what we put over here is the type of request we want to handle so we can say leave post leave put leave patch leave head any type of request we want to handle so for here i just want to say get so leave get then first parameter is the route we want to handle i'll say slash so that will be our base route slash then the next is a function or closure or callable um right then in here i just say echo home page right then don't forget the most important thing leave run to run our routes and to dispatch our routes yeah so when we go back to our browser and reload we get home page why because this is the same as that so slash here refers to our base um, url something like that but what if we kind of do this we go to a route which we know doesn't exist we get this really bad for for page um page not found right? so usually this is not what we want our user to see we want to display maybe a custom for for page or if an api with an api we can just display something to let our app know that this page isn't found so for this leaf has prepared a really simple method you can say leaf set 404 right leaf set 404 this takes in a function and then we can echo sorry we can echo 404 So when we reload this, we notice we get 404 now.